Hello guys, welcome back. This is the last video in the 30 days of Databricks series. I hope if you have followed along with me, you learned a lot about Databricks. The main question now is what next or how do you practice whatever I showed you in this series. If you don't practice by yourself, then that does not make sense. What I would suggest you to do is first try to go through the Databricks website and then find the things that you want because there are many things here. You can just go through the website. Okay, if I just go to this Y Databricks, you can choose that there are many things provided here already. If you go to the product section, as you can see, there are many, many, many things and there is links being provided here and there everywhere. And in solutions, you can go here and see, okay, there is solution for healthcare, here is manufacturing, financial service, and many other things. If you go to the resources part, there is a training, there is learning path also being provided, there is certification. If you want to have the certification, you need to go with some trainings first. And by the way, if you have followed this series, it will be easier for, for you to grasp the knowledge as you progress through these uh, trainings also. I would say easier because you need to practice. If you practice, then it's not that hard. Let me say that way. And yeah, there is Databricks Academy also in order to learn and one thing what Databricks has done really good they have provided db demos meaning that with just two lines of code Databricks provides you of end-to-end things where you can go and practice yourself this is really helpful and i have been going through these demos myself also in order to get what i can do in some of the topics what i am trying to do in this last video is guide you how you can go through these DB demos so that you know what to do next after this series ends. Because if I just provide some random advanced topic of the demos, then it might be not familiar with you. And it, it might be just, okay, this is how it works and what next kind of things. I want you to practice yourself, but I will guide you how to install this and how you can use it let's say in that way this is the db demos and as it says here databricks demos provided by databricks and demos to implement your databricks lakehouse this is the best platform to learn databricks with lakehouse if you scroll a little bit down so it says db demos is a toolkit to easily install lakehouse demos for databricks simply deploy and share demos on any workspace db demos is packaged with a list of demos you can go through this this is the UI. I will show you this in Databricks UI itself. So first thing first, let me just take you to DB Demos before I install this. If I click this DB Demos.ai, okay, it will take to Databricks website. And here it says tutorials, discover the power of Lakehouse, install demos in your workspace. Same thing that I said to you before. Now there is tutorials overview, GitHub, quick start guide, explore all tutorials. You can go through this. Tutorials, quick start, how to start. I will show you this later. So yeah, you can explore all the tutorials from here also. If you don't want to go to Databricks UI itself, or if you don't have, let's say Databricks UI, I hope you had by going through the series. You can just go here and just look, okay, inside the Lakehouse platform, there is this, okay, reducing churn. That is the best part. There is Lakehouse for IoT and predictive maintenance, retail banking and fraud detection. There is Lakehouse credit decision and something. And if you go to data engineering part, there is lots of things mentioned here and if you go to data science and AI, okay, MLOps, this is the thing that many of you want to learn, right? But there is in-to-in -in things you can follow each and every step. This is the reason why I said if I just choose one, it might not be suitable for you. What I want you to do is practice yourself by going through these demos. There is data warehouse and power AI things, right? And as it says, AI functions, query LLM with Databricks SQL. This is the trending topic right now. And there is governance and unity catalog. So delta sharing, upgrade table to unity catalog, how you can do that. And data lineage with unity catalog. Because if you just go through this, you will be professional in Databricks. Let, let me say, but it will take time. To go through one demo will take lots of time if you want to learn it properly. Now let me show you how to install this in Databricks. This is the notebook I will provide if you want in the description of the video. And you need to have the cluster. 
I need to first attach the cluster. It seems that the cluster is still running. Let me open here. Yeah, it is still running. It will take some time to start this cluster. But when this is installing, what I can do is here uh, see the full range of Databricks demo. So you can just go here and it takes you to the demo center. This is another thing that I want to also explain at the end, but at the cluster is still running. I will show you now. So there is feature demos, meaning that there are videos if you want to watch. There is product tools. This is the thing that I like the best because what it does is let's say that you want to you want to have the Unity catalog set up. You can just go here and it will take you, okay, setting up Unity catalog on Databricks Lake House. If you say launch product tour, it will now take you to their environment. And here you can say, okay, let's create. It says creating your meta store. Okay, let's create it. Now it took you to the S3, AWS S3. As you can see, I'm not doing anything here. It is doing behind the scene. This is the product tour. It says here, I need to first create the bucket for meta store creation steps. Create. So you say, note that we are logged in AWS console under the AWS S3 bucket. So you can say next. Okay, it says create, click to create the bucket. You can click this. And okay, it, <laughs> it went to this one. I said next, next. And it says create bucket. And there is a bucket being created. I can say next. Okay, congratulations. Our bucket is created. Open IAM menu. So it goes to your IAM. I'm not going to go through all, but you get the idea. This is the product tour that they are providing us in order to enable the Unity catalog. This was really helpful for me, myself, to learn things, how to enable the Unity catalog. You can go through this, and we are not using our AWS resources. This is just the product tool. So this is highly recommended for you if you want to learn many things. Okay, I'm not going to go through again. I click that. But now let me go to DB demos. I think the cluster now should be created. Let me go here. Okay, it's there. I will attach the cluster. I have provided the link for the GitHub also. And please visit this website. Now, there is just the pip install DB demos. I will run pip install DB demos. It is going to be installed here. And once it is installed, I can just, okay, it will ask me to restart Python kernel. So that's the reason I provided you, but it is not even necessary. I can just delete this, by the way, because it says here, as you can see here, review utils library this to use updated packages. If you want, you can use that, but it's not mandatory. It is running now. It is ran successfully. So I can say import db demos, db demos dot help. Okay, I want help because I don't know. This is new thing for me. Okay, it says here install Databricks demos. Okay, db demos dot help. It displays this help and db demos dot list demos category string none. So I can say list demos, right? List all demos available. And you can see how to install this also. It is being provided. And db demos dot create cluster and all the different things. But one thing you need to be careful here is there are some of the things that you need to uh, have access in Databricks because demos are going to install or uh, create the cluster and all the infrastructures behind the scene for you to work. So you need to be careful here that it might spawn up really big cluster also. So be extra careful before running this. So I can say here, okay, dvdemos.listdemos. It will take me to the demo. So this is the same UI that I showed you before in the Databricks website. So you can just go here and see all the different demos. Now let's say that you want to go to data science. And there are many things here, as you can see here. There is MLOps into in pipeline. How can you run this? This is already given here. Okay. DB demos install MLOps. DB demos requires the current user to have cluster creation permission, as I said you before. DLT pipeline creation permission, DB SQL, database SQL dashboard and query creation permission. And for UC demos, meaning Unity Catalog demos, Unity Catalog Meta Store must be available. And there are the features. So load demo notebooks, pre-run to given path, start the job and all the different things you can see here. And there is also the link to the demo center. I already explained you. If you just want to go through these DB demos, I can just copy this here. I will go here and open a new cell here. Okay. If I run this now, 
there are many things happening behind the scene. I have all the permissions because I'm the admin and this is the free trial. But it will spawn up the cluster for me also. Just to show you, I want to install dvdemos.install. Uh, this is not, by the way, possible in uh, community edition of Databricks because we don't have all these rights in the community edition. As you can see here, it says installing demo MLOps into int under this. It already goes to this email address or users, my email address. It says, please wait, help us improving demos, all the different things. Now it's install demos. It installed demos. As you can see here, now it is installed. So DB demos installing demo MLFs under this and your demo MLFs into in pipeline is ready. So now what you need to do, it just follow these things from here. You can click this and it will take you to that notebook as it is mentioned here, notebook installed. So all these notebooks are now being installed in my workspace under users and my email address. And there are many things, MLOps, this is MLOps into in presentation, feature engineering, train ML models, set up the ML flow, notebooks, identify columns, primary key, foreign key, model validation, there is deploy model for inference, build job to retrain model and all the different things. I can just click this and it will take me to the place. But next thing also, what I can do, it says here, I need to go to the users. So I will go to the workspace. I will go to workspace, users inside my email address. It says that it install MLOps into int. So if I go here, yeah, there is all the notebooks for me now to explore. And there are some of the practicalities and there is already something in the underscore resources also because you need to run some of the things and it is actually provided in the notebook itself. Let me first go to the first one. Okay, a cluster has been created for this demo. So as you can see here, it says that the DB demos MLOps into basic data science name of the cluster is being created for me. And now I can start running this. If I go to the cluster, let me go to the cluster. So here you can see it is being created, as I said you, and it is using 12.2 ml. The reason why I said you, it might be a little bit expensive is also, here you can see it is using 12.2 ml. It is using i3x large, i3x large, and it is using the dbu325 dbu. Because when I normally do, I will use the smaller one. But yeah, it uses minimum two, maximum four, meaning that it creates the cluster based on what it is needed for these particular things to run. If you don't want to create the cluster, because I don't want, I will just stop this here. Okay, confirm. And the previous one also, I don't need. So I can just say confirm. So this is how you can reduce the cost. If you don't need the cluster, you can just uh, terminate from here. And once this is terminated, you can even delete if you want. If not, it will be here. Okay, now this is terminated. This will be also terminated in a while. So from here, you can see this is the first notebook. If you want to go to the second one, so there is feature engineering part. So it is it is given you with proper explanations and all the diagrams also. And this orange things means that we are now in this particular phase. And as you can see here, all the different things are being provided for us. You can just follow, read each and every steps and follow this. And now there is auto ML, all the different things is provided here. So yeah, there are many things to learn, but as a last video, I want to show you what you want to do next so that you get a good career direction. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the series. I enjoyed a lot when creating this series too, because there were many things which I learned myself when creating this series. Yeah, thank you. There is a win-win kind of situation because I learned myself when I want to teach you or explain you the things here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I will be creating more content in the future. That's all. Thank you. See you in the next video.